Hello everyone and welcome to this month's Best and Worst of Beauty! I suppose by the time you all are watching this, it's already March. Welcome to March. I'll get there soon. I've just got a shorter pyramid here, a six product pyramid rather than my typical ten. Mainly because I was not only filming Primer Palooza this month, so I was testing out a bunch of primers that you will all be seeing very very soon here. And then I've also been, you know, testing out past foundations that I mentioned I was gonna do for a foundation follow-up so a lot of stuff I just I wasn't I was testing a lot of stuff but like for other videos you know not to include in this video and I don't want to spoil things for you guys I mean I definitely did find some good and bad products through those reviews and testings but Y'all will just have to wait to see all of that. But I do still have a pyramid here for you guys so that we can see what was the worst, what was the best. I've got some awful, horrible products, at least in my opinion, and then I've got some like, mm, top tier, very much deserved on the top of the pyramid. So we will climb the pyramid together here, going from worst up to the best. Let's go ahead and sing the song together and then we can go ahead and see what I've got on the pyramid for you guys this month. It's the best and worst of beauty. Well, the good or bad, here's the down and dirty. Yeah. Bottom of the pyramid, you guys, there's no questions. Ugh, I hated this product. Like, I don't remember the last time I have hated a product so much. Ba boom This right here is the Physician's Formula The Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade Vitamin Beat. I did a full face of first impressions on Physician's Formula this month and I tested out a bunch of their new stuff and some old classics. This was a new product from them. I feel like I've heard good reviews on this, but oh my gosh, I don't know how anyone can like this. I don't know if I got a dud or what's going on. Color is gorgeous. Color is beautiful. Cassie wanted to love this product, but I just could not. I think, wasn't this the one? Yeah, it's so strange. The smell of this is a mix between like a nice vanilla scent, like a lot of lip products have, like that soft MAC vanilla scent, but then it's that smell of a wood shop, like sawdust, you know? If you ever, like in middle school, for us, we had to take a wood shop class, which like thinking back on it, it's like a bunch of sixth graders working with big power tools and like saws and stuff. What are schools thinking? I mean, I guess it all turned out okay, but like that's an accident waiting to happen if you ask me. But anyways, so this smells like sawdust and vanilla. I surprisingly don't hate it. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I just, I don't dislike the smell of sawdust and like that smell of a hot saw going through wood. You know that smell? It's, I don't know, okay. Either way, goes on beautifully, feels comfortable, I would say for like maybe an hour tops. And then this stuff is so dry. It, I guess it makes your lips feel like sawdust. It's horrible. I'm just seeing that correlation. Physician's formula, was that maybe what you were going for here? I doubt it, but I hated this. It was so uncomfortable throughout the day. It did not apply well over itself. It just like crumbled up and was weird and bleh. Blech. I hated this. Like really, I, I don't think I can say anything other than I hated it because I hated it. I mean, I guess I said a lot more than that, but either way, it all sums up to, I hated it. <laughs> And next up on the bottom of the pyramid here is another product. Well, it's actually a couple of products here, but they're pretty much the same. I did not like these at all. These were the NYX Love You So Mochi palettes. I've got the highlighting palette in Arcade Glam, which comes with three highlighter shades. It's got a yellow, a pink, and like an icy blue-green shifty colored highlighter. And then I have got the Love You So Mochi eyeshadow palette. This is the Sleek and Chic palette, which just has a bunch of sparkly shades in here and one kind of satiny matte shade. I wanted to love these! Again, you know, like, I wanted to love them. I really did. And I think they're pretty to look at, but first off, I do have to mention, I felt like such a dum dumb <laughs> after I published the video. Uh, I did another, it wasn't a full face of first impressions, but it was a few first impressions. This <laughs> eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I thought it was just 1.3 grams on here, which I like, even in the video, I was like, excuse me? <laughs> but then I can see it says 10 times. One point, each one of these shadows is 1.3 grams. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt like an idiot, but either way, these are the palettes. They're not as squishy as you would think. 
based on the fact that they're called mochi palettes and the fact that NYX says that they're going to be squishy. They're semi-squishy. Not as squishy as if you remember the Maybelline Dream Bounce blushes. Weren't they Maybelline? Not as squishy as that. Some are squishier than others. The highlighting palette is like not squishy at all if you ask me. It's very pretty, but this is a lot of glitter. And these are very expensive. These are both just about $20. I think the eyeshadow palette was $19.99 and the highlighter palette was $18.99. I could be wrong, but I think it was about that. There are also some shadows in this eyeshadow palette that are not eye safe, which I always think is kind of hilarious. But the highlighter palette, like I said, very pretty. I do really like the colors, but once you get it on your face and as it starts to fade throughout the day, which I would say it starts to fade pretty quickly, maybe after a few hours, it fades into glitter. So if you don't like glitter, you're definitely not going to like this. But I mean, at least this does hang around till the end of the day. The eyeshadow palette, NYX even says you have to prime your lids with these. And even though I primed my lids with these, they still creased horribly on my lids. They did not last well. They were fine like application wise but I was just super disappointed with this and the highlighter palette. I mean I would recommend the highlighter palette over the eyeshadow palette but overall I would not recommend either of these. I did not like them. I'm gonna pass these on. Hopefully someone else can find a love for them. I know one person commented on the video and said that they have very dry eyelids and this eyeshadow palette works for them so maybe if you have really dry eyelids you might be able to make it work but for me I just personally would say a big pass on both of these they didn't do it for me and next up here on the bottom of the pyramid we are done with the awful products now I have got just kind of an okay product I don't hate it I don't love it it's just kind of okay but uh, uh, I've, I've used better but I don't hate it and I'm, I'm gonna use it up probably. So I've got a bottle of the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. And this, it's like, I can't hate on it too much because it says waves, you know, this isn't meant to create curls, but like, I feel like there are so many salt sprays out there that I've used, like the Bumble and Bumble one, that one like brings out the curl in my hair. This brings out the wave in my hair, which like is no fault, you know, that's what it claims it's gonna do. I just personally like a little bit more than a wave and it does leave like a very very slight 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 film on the hair like it's barely noticeable it's just in comparison to other sea salt sprays this does leave a slight film that like I don't feel like anyone else would know if they ran their hands through my hair but either way the smell you guys oh, I think the smell is the saving grace on this stuff it smells like a cinnamon sugar donut like that fresh just out of the fryer and sprinkled with the cinnamon and sugar and it's melting that smell. What the heck? But I love it. Like it's so nice and really I feel like you can only smell it when you first spray it. Slash I feel like a couple people when like giving someone a hug they've smelt it and have complimented my hair smell. But oh my gosh it smells so good. <laughs> like really really nice. But like I said I feel like I love the smell the most out of this. It does fine. It creates waves and everything so if you're into more waves and that's what you like I think it's definitely worth a shot. You know it's affordable. The sprayer on it is pretty good. It's not like the finest mist ever but it doesn't like shoot out in a weird stream or anything so it does okay. I don't hate it but I don't love it. Hence it's on the bottom of the pyramid. So moving on. <laughs> Second to the top tier of the pyramid here, you guys, I've got another product that was from that Physician's Formula video that I talked about, the Full Face of First Impressions. I have got one of these. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. It is the Muru Muru Butter Highlighter, and it's in the shade Pearl. You guys, this is so pretty. I don't think I would put it in my top three highlighters, but I could see it definitely in like top 10 highlighters maybe top five it's real pretty like takes my words away it makes me gargle kind of a pretty I love this I mean if you want mochi texture slash souffle texture get yourself one of these don't go for the NYX one like this stuff is squishy in the coolest way and like really kind of souffle ish Ooh. 
It's also very pigmented. I mean, my thumb barely fell in there. So soft and buttery, like you would expect from a butter highlighter. It goes on beautifully. It mostly melts into the skin. It's not the most melty into the skinny, but it does melt into the skin and I think it looks beautiful. You can definitely build this up. You can wear it a bit more sheer and natural, like I like it, but it's just got a beautiful, at least this one anyways, it's got a lovely, lovely kind of an iridescent glow to it. Just that pinky purple kind of a look. So, so pretty. I think they've got five shades in this highlighter line and it lasts most of the day. I would say eight to 12 hours it lasts on me really well. And it's just, it's nice. It's a really nice highlighter. It's a delight to use. I personally really like it. And yeah, like I said, if you're looking for a squishy highlighter from the drugstore, would way more recommend that one from Physicians Formula than the NYX one. No questions asked. <laughs> And next up here, you guys, second to the top on the pyramid, this is nail related. A lot of you have been commenting lately about how you're excited seeing me, you know, painting my nails again now that I have my fake nails off. I feel like I've had them off for a couple months now, at least. A few months now. But I feel like just recently people have been like, oh my gosh, when did you get your nails off? And I'm like, it was a while ago, but yeah. I've got my natural nails, so I've been having a lot of fun painting them, all of my nail polish colors and stuff again. And it has just made me remember how wonderful and lovely my base and top coat combo is. Like this is holy grail status, base and top coat, love of my life, makes my nail polish last. I mean, I've had this on for four, five days now and it's hardly starting to chip and show. And it's like that with all nail polishes. This, 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 these two really. So first off, the base coat I use is the Zoya Anchor Base Coat Adheres Nail Color, and then the top coat is the very famous, I feel like, Sechevite Dry Fast Top Coat. The Zoya Base Coat just feels so nice. It feels like a drink of water on my nails when I first put it on, and I just feel like it really helps to make the nail polish that you put on top of it stick, and then the Sechevite just seals it in Oh, so good. Like a nice, hard, gloss, delightful layer on top. Just wonderful. I know loads of people talk about how Sesh is like the worst thing in the world. It's so bad for you, blah, blah, blah. I will take all of the risks because this stuff works so freaking good. I just love it. It dries relatively quickly, I would say. I feel like my nails are good to go in like five minutes after putting this on. I mean, I wouldn't be able to like play the drums with the backs of my hands or anything, but I definitely just, I, mm, feelings, feelings. The only like drawback to Sesh Vite, I feel like for me, is that it kind of like shrinks the circumference of your nail polish. Like it definitely kind of like makes your nail polish go from like all over the nail to like just slightly all over the nail almost almost little tiny bit of an edge can you see on the very top of my thumb there it's very slight but it does do that kind of like shrinky thing or like on that one can you see like on the very top of the finger but I don't even care like this 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 combo is wonderful so if you've ever struggled with nail polish sticking on your nails maybe give this combo a try it works a treat for me I sure like it so yeah I figured it was definitely worth sharing <laughs> And now, top of the pyramid, you guys, we have made it. It was a short one this month, I know, I apologize, but I feel like my feelings on all of these products are pretty cut and dry. It's like either I hated them or I really loved them or they were just, you know, meh. But this product, oh, I love this product and I'm so sad to have to put this away and try out something new. You know you love a product when it's like that. Ah, I just did a full review on this, you guys, but this right here is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I love this palette so much, you guys. Like I said, I did a full review on this, so if you want to see, like, all of my thoughts and feelings on this, definitely check that out. But I just love the nice, sleek packaging. It's got a mirror on the inside. I love the layout of this palette. I love the circle of the baked shimmery shadows, then the circle of the corresponding matte shadows. Not even necessarily corresponding, but, like, flattering matte you know, like they just go really well together. And then a big, beautiful highlight in the very center. You have to like glitter and shine if you want this palette, because that's definitely what the outside and the inside shadows do. But these mattes are phenomenal, you guys. Like, 
some of the more buttery, pigmented, wonderful mattes I've ever used in my life. Like, really, really gorgeous. And all of these just blend so beautifully together. Like I said, the, all of the colors just complement each other so well. So, like, if you want to go really simple, you can just do the matte color in the crease and then the shimmery shade all over the lid and you're good. Like, it'll look really good no matter which sign you end up going with. I said in the video where I did the full review that I don't really understand why they put some of these color combos with the signs. Like, don't really make sense. But oh well, you know, like, it's a beautifully laid out palette. I like the nod to astrology, even if it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Just buttery, creamy, delightful goodness. Lasts all day. Quite a few of the baked shimmery shades, I feel like, need a glitter primer underneath it. Otherwise, you will have a little bit of glitter fallout onto your cheeks, but I guess it's not enough to, like, really bug me. I don't always use a glitter primer with them, but that is something to note. And overall, I just love this palette. I loved the looks that I've been able to come up with with this palette this month. And like I said, I am very, very sad to be putting this away so that I can test out something. I mean, I'm excited to test out something new, but I just loved this so much. Like, it's painful for me to be like, okay, time to go into retirement. So yeah, that is it, you guys. There is my six product pyramid here for you this month. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all had a wonderful month of February. I personally am excited to move on into March here. February wasn't bad for me. I just am feeling like March is gonna bring better things. We shall see, who knows. But yeah, like I said, I hope you all had a wonderful month. I hope this pyramid was helpful for you in seeing some products that maybe you are gonna wanna check out for yourself. Maybe some products you're gonna want to avoid. If you did enjoy the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!